Hey guys, welcome back to Surveying with Robert. So, um, this is probably just going to be a Tuesday tip today because um, what I'm going to show you is how to take a static file, take it to the GNSS processor, that sends you the extended format, which is an XML, and we'll show you how to bring that into Business Center and how to correct your points up. So, first things first. Okay guys, so the first thing we need to do is grab a file. So just so happens somebody sent me a T02 file. So I'm going to use theirs. They also sent me the job file. So we're going to load this into the GNSS processor. Okay, so the file is loaded uh, into the processor. So I want to hit next. And what this does is it brings us to where it converts the file for us. So you'll notice this is a four-hour observation. Here's the date. Uh, used a Trimble R10. You can see all the information in here. Um, antenna type. These are the things that will let me change. Um, so it's Trimble R10 internal, bottom of antenna mount, measured height 2.1964 meters. So this information is stored in the Rhinex header. So when you go in and you say start base and I want to start logging data, this information is included. That's why I like this GNSS processor because a little bit less chance for error uh, doing it this way as far as getting the data into Opus. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hit next. So now it's asking me which processor I want to use. So I'm just going to say let's use Opus. I'm going to say next. And at this point I put in my email address. Okay, so I say next. So it's submitting the file um, to the processor. So just like baking a cake, this thing's gonna go, but I have already sent it off. So let's go ahead and open up Trimble Business Center, which I should have already had opened up. So I'm using Trimble Business Center 5.32. Okay, I'm gonna say new project. I'm just gonna say US survey foot. If you get a template set up, like I showed you how to set the templates up um, in the TBC 101 thing, um, you can just use your template. If you don't know what datum the job is in, um, when I bring over this job file, you're gonna see down here in the lower right hand corner, it's going to change it, see Mississippi West. It's probably going to throw me an error because I don't have his uh, FXL file, so I'm going to say nope. Okay, so there's our points. Um, as you can see, if we look at our flag up here, so as soon as I figure out where they stuck the flag, it used to, there it is, right there. Okay, so it, it is open down here at the bottom. I must have had it open last time. The point has been used, starting point, and it has less than survey quality. So what it's telling us is that was an autonomous position. Pretty smart, isn't it? So now I've got the, um, here's the Opus report. If I can grab it and bring it over here. It may not let me bring it, there it is. There's the Opus report. So with this Opus report, there was an XML. See this attachment up here? So that is an XML that was included in it. So um, what I'm going to do is I already have the XML. So I'm going to drop and drag it in here. There's the XML. So if you'll notice, we have two points in here. We have, this is the XML. This is the uh, autonomous position. So all we need to do now is go to survey, go to merge points. I'm going to select, I'm gonna hold down the control. I'm gonna select 5,000 and I'm gonna select the other point. So I'm going to open this little box up. I don't know why this isn't opened up. I think I said that before in another video. Why that's not autom automatically open. So our final point is going to be our first point, and we're going to include it in the move. There's this point. We're also going to include it. So um, as you can see, that's I can't do anything with it. That's defaulted. So I say, okay. When I do, boom, see it move. Don't forget, because down here in the lower right-hand corner, little bitty, little bitty red 
same dot, it says compute point. So I'm going to hit F4. I'm going to compute the point. Now what that did is that just moved all the points. If you remember in the video I did before, <laughs> it didn't move the points because I forgot to hit F4. Okay, so you hit F4. There it is. It's adjusted all the points to this. Now if I want to, I can go in here. I can right click. I can go to properties. I can look at it and I can actually, if I want to, I can rename that back to 5,000. Life is good. My flag's gone, except I do not have the XFL. He did not send that to me, but I have everything else. So I have what I need. So now that if I wanted to send these points out, just as a caveat, I can window all these points. I can go to export and I can export them. This is a default point number, northing, easting, elevation code. This is under custom. Um, if you wanted to do a different export, like in this case, he had attributes. I can come up here to export, go to the export format editor. I can say new, next. I can set this up with a, a CSV instead of an ASCII. I say next, general, and I can say I can add attributes to to my, my setup. So I can, I can go point ID, then I can say northing, easting, whoops, I just did that wrong right now. Northing, how about we move that right there? How about we move it over here then? Northing, easting, elevation. I can say feature code, and then I can say attributes, and I can believe you have to make these commas. I'm not a positive about that. I'd have to go back and look and see. But when I do that, it should set that up. So if I say, let's send it out to, um, I'm going to send it out to my desktop. We're just going to call it, um, how about we just call it Opus. Save, export. If I go look at my desktop, I can't believe I just did that. I just tried to import it in. Yep, I got it. Yep. How about we do it this way? Um, I did an ASCII so it doesn't know how to open them. So if we looked, he's got some attributes in there. Yeah, put commas in there. So I could bring it in as an ASCII or I could change it to a CSV and bring it in as an Excel if I wanted to. But um, there's his attributes that were in there, different comments and stuff. Okay. So, guys, hope that helped you out. So that is how you bring it in. Correct up your Opus position. Create a CSV file and spit it back out. So, as always, like and subscribe. We're kicking it now, man. We got like 4,300 subscribers now. Whoo, man. We're tearing it up as far as servers go. So, um, guys, God bless. Be safe. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. I appreciate you watching.